found a little time this weekend to play with the 3D printed CNC machine. And right now I'm just checking to see how close these gears will, will mesh. These were drawn up in Inkscape real fast. Under extensions there's a gear rendering program which is pretty cool. And right now we're printing these out and we'll see how well these work. These are the two gears in JS Cut for our tool paths. Real simple here, I'm using a 16th inch end mill and it's a quarter inch piece of plywood, so 0.25 for our depth. And then we'll just pin both of these on a piece of scrap wood and see how well they work and how close to round they are. The two gears were moved over into mock and are being cut out right now. We've got our spindle speed control and this is the power supply for the spindle. This is the power supply for the Toshiba board. And we've got the UC100 on there that converts the parallel port to the USB. So I can run this on a really old 12 year old laptop. It's just kind of cool with this MPCNC to watch, watch the gears go back and forth. It's a very smooth, very smooth little system. Those are both wheels. Let's move this out of the way and go in and take a look. And see how these gears look. Get the dust off there. pretty clean. Let's pop those out and see how tight they are. These look pretty good. I've spent a lot of time trying to dial all this in, especially for the Z height. And I was surprised when I pulled this off exactly how tight that is. I was expecting cut lines for this into the sacrificial board, but there really aren't any. This is for a different cut, but these two, which were both right here, are just about as perfect as you can get. There's hardly a line on here, which is really incredible. So, those gears look great. Let's cut those out and see how well they work together. There are lots of ways to cut tabs off, to cut pieces out, and I found the easiest thing is this little jigsaw. I think it's a gourd saw, and it's super handy. You can adjust the speed of this and change the different blades on there. So for cutting out these little tabs, this thing works really, really well. Not bad. These came out pretty well, pretty clean. They work well together and this opens up possibilities for gear trains and clocks and other really cool things. They're not perfect. I measured the high and the low from the high point to the low point for each gear and we're about 0 0.0285, 0 0.029. But for the stuff I work on, that is good enough. Cool stuff. Thanks very much for taking a look.